On October 31st, 2008, a user by the name of Satoshi Nakamoto published a link to a paper entitled Bitcoin, Peer-to-Peer -peer Electronic Cash System. While not noticed by many at the time, this post would forever alter the course of financial history and open up countless unforeseen opportunities. Money has been used for centuries as a way to store value. In the past, shells, salt, silver, and gold have been used as money. To make things easier, paper money began to be used as a way to exchange value. For many years, you could exchange your money for physical gold. However, in 1971, that would all change as President Richard Nixon took the United States off the gold standard, forever cutting the tie between the U.S. dollar and gold. This meant that the dollar was no longer backed by anything other than trust in the United States government. Because the dollar was no longer tied to gold, the United States was able to print dollars whenever they wanted. While all this stimulus is attractive in the short run, in the long term, this increased supply of money leads to inflation and ultimately the devaluation of the dollar. While at one time it seemed feasible that banks, governments, and large institutions deserved our trust, it seemed like times were indeed changing. It was within this background of the 2008 financial crisis that Satoshi Nakamoto published his paper proposing Bitcoin. So what exactly is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency. In the past, a central authority was needed to facilitate transactions and make sure accurate records were kept of who owned what. For instance, without a bank, how could we know that you really sent Sally $5? We need a central authority to make sure the money was not spent twice. So how does Bitcoin solve this double spending problem? Rather than having one central authority, Bitcoin allows all the users to have access to its ledger. Think of a ledger as a big spreadsheet that records all the Bitcoin transactions that have ever taken place. Bitcoin works by having computers around the world run mathematical functions to verify each and every transaction. These transactions are all added to the ledger, or as it's also known, the blockchain. While the term blockchain can be an intimidating concept, just think of each block as a long list of transactions, and they're all linked together to other blocks of transactions. This blockchain is stored on all computers in the network and is a secure record of who owns what. Instead of a bank or credit card recording the transactions, Bitcoin allows all the users on the network to see the transactions. However, because of cryptography, users still can remain anonymous. In fact, it was that aspect of Bitcoin that helped it first gain popularity amongst users of the black market website Silk Road in 2011 and 2012. But Bitcoin is not just for those who wish to purchase things on the dark web. There are many advantages of Bitcoin as opposed to traditional fiat currency. First, because it is decentralized, it is not controlled by any one person or institution. Moreover, unlike fiat currency like the U.S. dollar, which has seen its supply increase drastically over the past 20 years, there is a limited amount of Bitcoin, with its maximum supply set at 21 million Bitcoins. In addition, Bitcoin is an efficient way to send money quickly and easily around the world. The first commercial transaction using Bitcoin occurred in 2010 when a computer programmer bought two Papa John's pizzas for 10,000 bitcoins. That one day may be remembered as the most expensive pizzas ever bought. But bitcoin has come a long way since then, and can now be used to send money quickly and easily around the world for many different items. In fact, in 2022, Ukraine posted its official bitcoin wallet on its Twitter page in an effort to raise funds for its war with Russia. This was an important step in showing the utility of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies on the whole. So where do we go from here? I think it is safe to say that Bitcoin is here to stay. Millions of people around the world currently own at least some Bitcoin 
and unless you have been living under a rock, have undoubtedly heard about it. It is my belief that Bitcoin will be treated like a digital gold in the coming years, with its price often referenced and investors seeking to own or trade it based on market conditions. While other cryptocurrencies offer many technical advantages over Bitcoin, no one can deny the historical importance of Bitcoin and its status as the largest cryptocurrency by market cap.